This video shows you how to tie a double Windsor. Though there are many variations of how to tie a necktie, the double Windsor is arguably the cleanest and most uniform looking, and can be achieved in only a few simple steps. Start by flipping the collar of your shirt up and draping the tie over your neck like so. Adjust the ties so the point of the narrow end is just above your belly button. Cross the wide end of the tie over the narrow end to create a loop around your neck. Now pull the wide end back up through the neck loop you just made as shown. Once again, wrap the wide end behind the narrow end and back through the neck loop, this time coming from the top and pulling it through so it ends up behind the narrow end. You'll notice you have a nice even triangle now. Pull everything snug and make that triangle as neat and uniform as possible. One last time, wrap the wide end around the narrow end and back through the neck loop from underneath. Leave a little slack when you do it this time though. Once you've pulled the wide end through the neck loop, go back down through the slacked loop you just created. This will create the finished knot. Pull the wide end down slowly so the knot tightens, but don't pull it as tight as it'll go. Turn the wide end over and tuck the narrow end into the label so it's held together as one. Grab the knot and push upwards toward your neck while pulling down on the narrow end to cinch the tie comfortably up around your neck. Flip your collar back down and center the knot. Also, make sure the part of the tie that goes behind your neck is tucked up under the collar. Lastly, make any adjustments to the knot, especially at the point where the wide end meets the knot. If you sized everything right, the tip of the tie should just touch your belt buckle. If it doesn't, pull the tie off and try again, adjusting the position of the narrow end's tip up or down as necessary. 